Hello everybody. In this video, I want to introduce you to the AI RT Image Enhancer. This is a desktop app which performs photo and image enhancement powered by AI. This is especially geared towards AI generated images, but you can also add more details to photographs that you have taken yourself or images that you have downloaded from the internet. How AI image enhancement works is that it uses AI to fill in the pixels that are missing in the images. So when you blow up the images to print them out, the quality is much higher. To get started, just download the desktop app from their website that I'm going to link to the description below. I have a Mac, so I'm going to go with the Mac version. But if you have a Windows, just go to their download link and get the Windows version to download right here. After you have it installed, it's going to show up in your applications as AIRT Image Enhancer. Just click on that. And when it opens up, this is the interface you're going to see. It's fairly simple as you see here. Before I try some image enhancements to show you how it works, I'm going to give you a small overview of the software. Now here on the right is where you can select your hardware. For example, I'm using a MacBook Air, which is using an M2 processor. I don't have a GPU, but if you're using a desktop with an external GPU, you can select that for faster processing. Then you get to select your AI model based on your needs. The first AI model, which is more detailed, is suited for AI generated images that you want to add a lot more details to. The second one called Smooth Tiff is for images which are like cartoons or something else, which does not need that much details. And the final one called Real Photo is for images that maybe you have taken yourself that already have a decent amount of details, but you want to enhance the resolution of it to print it out maybe. Then we have the option to upscale it one times, which is 100% or two times 200%, 400%, 800%, or you can allocate a specific resolution to the enhancement such as 1K, 2K, 4K, or 8K, or a custom resolution. Now, every time an enhancement happens using an AI tool, it usually uses an image prompt in the background. And if you choose to keep that prompt in your enhanced image, you just click keep that prompt. You also have the option to add external text to your enhanced images. And here is the run button, which is clicked when you want to do the enhancement. Today, I'm going to show you two different kinds of images. The first one is an image that I'm going to acquire from Google Images. Just take a screenshot and try to enhance it. Next, I'm going to go to the public page for Playground AI, which is an AI image generation tool and get an image from the public gallery and try to enhance it using AI RT image generator. Let me search for something simple like a cat. For example, maybe this one. Here we have a cat getting his cheek squeezed. I'm just going to take a screenshot of it so that I can get the lowest quality possible. I'm going to rename that image cat original and just drag it to AIRT just like that. Here, as soon as I drag it, the tool is going to start inferring that image and check that it is ready to be enhanced. Now, if you look at the slider right here and drag it a little bit on the left and right, you can see the before, which is this one, and the after of the quality of this image. Now, if you want to see the effect of this enhancement on that entire image, all you do is to reduce the size of it. For example, I'm going to reduce it right here. Now you can see that the whole image is visible and see how the image will change after the enhancement has been applied. Now I'm going to change the hardware to just CPU. Now here I'm going to select the upscale at 4x and click start the inference process. Now this is going to analyze that image and figure out what amount of pixels need to be filled in with AI. Now the time for this inference can vary based on the strength of your computer and the upscale level you have requested. And as you see here on the top right, I can move this image around to see the different parts of that image. And when the inference is ready, you can see the enhancement level on each of these parts. You can also see that the export settings on the right now mention this image at a resolution of 7936 by 5608. That means it's going to be a much larger image that you can blow up and print out if needed. You can also select the output path here. I'm going to click browse and select this folder on the right and click AIRT. 
Now, when the inference completes, it's going to activate this run button on the right. All right, my inference is now done. And if I move this around, I can see the quality of the image has changed. So if I move this on the right, you see how those granulated parts of the image now disappear because it has been filled with AI. I hope you can see it on this video how AI fills in the parts that are missing on the original image. You can also see on the whiskers right here, the left part is the blurry granulated version of this old original image and the right one is after we have it enhanced using AI RD. I think I'm happy with the result of this and now I'm just going to click run. All right, my final image is now ready and it looks much better. If you see on the right here, the size of this image is 28 megapixels and the size of this original image was only four megabytes. So we have at least 24.9 megabytes of new information, which was added using AI. And that's a lot of details. By the way, you can keep adding more details to this image, but I think I'm happy with where I'm at with this cat picture. But now I'm going to try an AI generated image from Playground AI's gallery. Let me try this image of this horse, which I really like. I'm going to click download. I can add a new image using this plus sign and click horse original. All right. It's already starting to infer this image and I have the upscale set at 4x, but I want to change some settings. So I'm going to abort that auto inference and change the AI model to smooth diff. This time it's going to change how the AI analyzes this image. Now I want to move this around to the face of the horse to see how his eyes look like after the enhancement. All right, our inference process is now complete. Now I can move this slider to see what kind of details have been added. Now, if you see closely on the eyes, the left one is distinctly more granulated than the right one. The right one is a lot more shiny and I feel like it's a lot more smoother as the AI model says. Now, just like the eyes, we have the tail on the right much more smoother than the left side. The hooves on the right look a lot more higher quality. Okay, I think I'm happy with the result of this upscaling. Now, if I have more time and more CPU, I'm gonna change my upscale to 8X and do it 8K resolution and do it a few times to really upscale my image, but that's gonna take a lot of time and I don't think my computer is that strong. So I'm gonna click run. All right, that's pretty much all there is to it. I hope you understand how easy it is to upscale your images using AI RT Image Enhancer. I would like to thank them for sponsoring this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to click like on this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have a lot more videos coming up. Till the next one, thank you so much.